Hi everybody, hope you hear me well. Thank you very much for joining me in another show match. Here we are having Legend and Marco. They are both playing different factions, not boring Soviet versus Soviet. Here we have Marco in America, USA, Allied. And we have Legend on Iraq. I'm about to start the first match when Hick Freight is over. Thank you all for joining. Here we go for the first match. We have Legend on top right versus Marco on bottom left. Dogs are out as usual. This match might be tight because we see Marco as allied and Legend is playing Soviet. His normal faction. The war is up for Marco. Legend as well. The second miner is out for Marco. Here we see the MCD move from Marco. I'm gonna fix the colors. Yeah. Next match. Here we see the first harassment from Marco on Legend Space. Four miners for Legend. He's on six miners. He has to defend his base. From these chrysalis. Was able to kill one with a drone. Marco is doing good. In the center of the map. He moved his MCB and mining the gems. This will be a huge boost for him. Both players are on 2k. So it's good. It's a good position for both of them. Legend starts to make the Rhino tanks. He defend his base. Boys on the live chat, you are all welcome. Later, yes, I have a YouTube channel. I always post the show matches on that channel. So you can find all of the show matches I made on that channel. Here we see Marco is destroying the desolators. First engagement is about to start now. On the right mid, Marco was able to kill a miner. 
well defended by the legend. Legend is preparing for a distro bomb. They receive a piece of flags. Piece of flag. He's going to make a big boom on those grizzlies and merchants. Legend is preparing his Rhino tanks at the moment. He's on four war factories. Marco on four as well. And the lab. Eight miners for Legend. Seven miners for Marco. Legend is trying to engage from the bottom left. Nice piece of bomb. That was not enough to kill the Merge tanks. Bad engagement from Legend. He had to wait by the isolators. Nice counter by that Shrikatir. Marco is chasing that single Rhino on the right mid by the Merge tanks. Huge number of Merge tanks. Nice isolator from Legend. Was able to kill some of these verse tanks. Another split from Legend. Nice defense from Marco. Marco is able to kill these two miners for legend by the merge tank. That was a worthy move from Marco. the IC from Legend it's up the Legends are trying to make something against the forces on the top left Legend forced sold his MTG Blade Marco by these force. 
by these forces on top left that was at this match in my opinion I fixed the colors might be having it in the VC the door is always open for you my friends to go cast Here we have it, boys. We are about to start the second game on Desert Island. We see Marco switching to France. This might be epic match. Marco is doing great with Allied, by the way. I never seen him playing Allied. I'm waiting for Ed to get ready. There you are, found you. Hey, welcome, my friend. Thank you for coming, Ed. Hi, for sure, man. Uh, taking the day off, or I have my day off today, so why not? Thank you, thank you very much for coming. You are always the best. Was telling the boys on the live chat that I have never seen Marco playing Allied, but he is great. Whatever faction yeah. he picks. Yeah, dude. Uh, Marco's Marco's been a beast as allies for a long time. Obviously, uh, his main faction I want to say is Soviet, but goddamn, he plays a solid ass allies. Look at him now. He's switching to France on Desert Island. I think this match will be epic. Yo, yo, yo what up, chap? Uh, I think one of the most notable ones uh, I mentioned it in like a previous show match was uh, Marco gaining rank one as Germany back in Exodus days. <laughs> well, that's pretty freaking crazy. Yeah, really, that's crazy. He took yeah, he's, the uh, title he's... with Germany. <laughs> yeah, man, he's no joke. He's really no joke. <laughs> uh, do we have the allied buff here or not? Nah? We have uh, Marco on the bottom left and Legend on the top right. Legend on yellow and Marco on red. What do you mean by buff? Uh, there's a there's a mod where or in quick match there's a mod for allies. A little buff uh, gives a power plant. Uh, I think it's cheaper. Um, 
I mentioned it because he's playing France right here, so I feel like it's a huge buff for France players, right? When they're playing as France with that little buff for the power plant. Sorry, Ed, for not knowing this. You know, I'm a new player, not a pro like you. So, forgive me because I asked you about that. <laughs> no, no, I it's all no good. Idea about this. <laughs> If it's in the client, then uh, it's most likely, if it's not on the Revit 2 ladder maps, I think it's not going to be uh, the buff or whatever, but either way, uh, France still really viable here in this map. I've seen a lot of players uh, use France here now, lately. There was a Chinese player playing France on this map, I think, or in some map, maybe the freeze. Can't remember yeah, the uh, game. I think Jaxi Lindog. He plays uh Ding Dong, he, he, right. ding -dong yeah. <laughs> ding Dong <laughs> likes to play uh France on here. A uh, pretty aggressive move by uh Legend here. Uh Marco's already in the center with his AFC, so he's gonna have those cannons in the center here pretty soon. So I wonder what Legend has planned since he's pretty close quarters, right? Usually you don't wanna be too close to France <laughs> in these cases, but uh maybe he has something up his sleeve. I think he a little neat. Uh, a huge army to face the cannons. Mm -hmm. Here we see Marco start building the rocketeers. Takes the rocketeer pretty early on. Ah, first cannon comes out. Ugh. It's really annoying to face the cannons, especially when. The miners are in range. Yeah, I wonder what Legend's move is here. Uh, he does have a nice eco on the right side. He's still mining the gems on the right. Uh, but this, yeah, the center is what he has to worry about, right? Because uh, usually you want to set up yourself for later in the game, but right now he's not setting himself up for the best uh, with that MC MCP in the center. What do you think the right move should be from Legend? I think he should have stayed on the right side and just kind of, just kind of how he's doing it right now, uh, building all the way down, stretching to the bottom. Um, I mean, he did get a couple of uh, truckloads of gems from the center, so I guess it wasn't that bad, but it did set him back a little bit, right? The move of the MCV down that way and now having to retreat it back and moving his miners left and right. Maybe he would have been better off just sticking to his side and uh, building off of it because it's still pretty viable, you know. That's right. I think he shouldn't have uh, given uh, Marco that time to build all of this. You agree on this point? Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of people like to rush the the France players. Keep in mind that uh, NG, I think multi NG is on, so it also uh, I feel like it's another little buff for uh, France players because. If you're playing France, sometimes you just want to hit GM. I, at least I do, because I don't want to get to this point of the game, you know? Once the player starts, like Marco especially, if he starts setting up cannons all over the place, uh, it feels like you can't attack anywhere, you know? So you want to end it as quick as possible, but here we are now, so I'm kind of excited to see what Legend has here in store. Does he go super weapons, or does he go multi-multi-war? What do you think? I think uh, the game is on the hands of Marco ran away from huge Legend engagement. after these. Ooh, this is huge cannons. for Legend. He might be able to snipe the MCV here. If he snipes the MCV, that means no more cannons over. for uh, Marco. That's right. But, look at but that number he did of... sacrifice a lot of tanks. Look at that number of Grizzly tanks. Marco is able to end the game, I think, with those oh, this Grizzlies. Is... Yeah, this is looking really good for Legend. Legend uh, caught Marco by surprise there. He had a split on the top, split on the left. That split on the bottom side was what gave Marco all the attention and Legend just used his tanks from the top side and sniped that MCV which now leaves him in a really good position. Marco can't build any more cannons and he also can't build infantry, he took out the barracks as well. So if all Legend needs to do is hold this like next initial push from uh, Marco and then I think he's set up for success. I think uh, the game or the position is not bad for Marco now. He has two cannons on the center of the map and he has the Grizzlies. He has enough army to attack Legion's base. 
Yeah. I think you have I think to the... do something quick. Yes, I agree with you 100%. The longer this game goes, the harder it's going to be for Marco. Uh, Marco, right. he he has cannons, so he his I guess his whole game plan before he lost his MTV was to kind of just camp, but not anymore, right? Now you're facing, you're going to start facing ICs over and over, so he needs to make a move. You can't camp till the game is over, so you have to do something. Mm -hmm. If I were Marco, I, see. I would Ten have seconds. done something. Look at that MCT snipe Ooh. for free. Nice one from Marco. He used his IC on the MCV, but the MCV died anyways, so he just whiffed that IC. Uh, he wasted everything by that mistake. Yeah, he does have a, a service depot, so if if he can hold on for a while, he can rebuild it. Uh, I don't think he's going to have time, though. Marco's going to be up his ass here. If you, sir, thank you very much for coming. MG Easy, thank you boys for coming to the live stream. I'm sponsoring the match. Lead. Future, I'm sponsoring it. Go ahead, go ahead, it. We are welcoming the boys on the live chat. No, it's just. Just saying, Marco with that elite grizzly is coming in clutch right now because he can just snipe off those uh, desolators over and over. Uh, desolators were the only thing that were going to help uh, Legend hold this IC. If without those desolators, uh, he's out tanked here. I'm not sure. Uh, what do you think? This is coming out to be pretty good for Legend, actually. He's going to lose his IC, though, on the back end, right? I think uh, the game is on Marco's hands at the moment. He has the upper hand. Uh, he will take the second one home. As I told you, my friend, Marco is OP. And the bird <laughs> mentions. Yeah. I think I think that was all uh I mean that was Legend's game to throw, right? He he sniped off the barracks, he sniped off the MCV, more importantly. He sniped off the barracks afterwards. Uh so all Legend needed to do was hold that initial push, because he did sacrifice a lot of tanks. However, he even had the IC ready. He just whiffed the IC. He needed that IC so bad to hold him off just for a little bit longer so he can start getting ahead. And sure enough, he just, whoosh, no IC. I can, I can tell you something. That bad IC did the job for Marco. It was just in time for Marco to kill Legend Space. If he made that IC on the drones, it will be epic for Legend. So it was a big mistake from Legend to use that I see on the MCV. Yeah, uh, you know what I think? I think Legend, uh, he got hyped. I think it might have been. This is what I'm just uh, assuming. There was a uh, clip of the week, or not, it wasn't clip of the weeks, but there was a highlights from uh, Legend and Andy's game, uh, previous games uh, in the past. And there was one that was voted pretty nice where Legend ended up putting his tanks near his MCV and I see the it. MCV and the tanks at the same time. I feel like he wanted to repeat that, but his tanks weren't there uh, fast enough. So he lost his MCV as his tanks arrived because he IC'd and then just the MCV died. I think it would have been way better choice to just IC the uh, drones and just get rid of half of those grizzly tanks. Even if he sacrificed the MCV, he would have been fine in the long run. That's right. After sacrificing the MCV, he would uh, have killed all of the Grizzlies by those Exactly. Drones. You are sniping the point. <laughs> That's right. Ah, <laughs> uh, so country was, swing, huh? L let me let me comment on that point. Hmm. You said before on that match between Andy and Legend, it was a hmm. champ move. It was a very good move from mm -hmm. him but it's too hard to repeat it again and mm -hmm. again so you can't always do the same thing you have to sacrifice sometimes as you mentioned absolutely absolutely i'm looking at marco's miner right here uh unfortunately he's not microing the miner miner is just kind of going through his own path here uh, usually uh early miners you kind of want to Especially, ooh, wait a minute, look at Marco. Look at Marco. He's pulling a path here, man. Uh, Legend does not expect it. He's still building, oh no, he's, he, he sees it, he sees it. He cancels his other uh, miner, he starts making tanks, but I don't know, man, this, this is pretty, this is gonna be pretty hard for him to hold here. 
to get that harassment from Marco. Takes out the flag. Two repeaters and four grace leads now on Legend stays. Very nice move. Nice, nice, nice. Back and forth here. He Marco really wants to get that flag here. He's targeting it. Uh, without that flag, uh, Legend's pretty, pretty much dead. Uh, you can see Marco, that's that's his priority. The Rocketeers are just doing the work. That's true. He just has to chase that flag around. Rocketeers, he has to do. GG. He has to end it now, Marco. He's broke. That was very good and a quick match. <laughs> very nice. To be honest, and you know what? I, I, you know what? I, I'm one to always, always, always make a drone. Uh, and even against allies. And a lot of people used to say, oh, well, why do you make it against allies? It's not important. But you know what? It's pretty good. One, you can anti-scout. <laughs> and if by any chance an allied player does this shenanigans, you still have a drone that you can instantly drone one of his tanks. You know, it can slow him down a little bit, at least, you know? Uh, so I think. It's always good to have a drone, no matter what, even if you're playing Soviets or Allies. That was strange that Legend did not have any drones in the beginning of that match. Yeah, so very, he, very nice so heads he up play by Marco. Everything. You could have slowed him a bit. Yeah, for sure. Bath or traveled by. This what he means? Bath, yeah, more I, I think so. Unless he wants to play the original one, but I think this one's in quick match now, so. Ooh, and Marco going yeah, back to France. To be honest, I did not expect much from Marco as allied, and he's a beast. <laughs> yeah, man, he is a beast. He's the goat. Uh, legend needs to step up his game. He keeps his choice as France. We have Legend on left mid versus Marco on the right mid. This is a really tiny map. Small and direct map. Yeah, in, in a map like this, if it was the size without the oils and the early gems, uh, I'd say that being France is probably going to be pretty tough, you know, but considering you have three oils and then you have early gems and even you have a paradrop, right? Um, it's pretty nice for France here. Uh, the size of the map is pretty nice because if he puts one, let's say one cannon in the center, it'll cover a lot of the map, right? It'll cover the uh, bottom, it'll cover the mid for sure, and it'll cover some of the top and bottom side of the map with just one cannon. And it's up. I agree with you. So, Legend must do something. Uh, so, Legend opts possible. to go zero uh, unless he's just making that one tank just to kill the sandbags, and then he's gonna go miners. Because you can you can do two things here. Uh, hi, you can go rush straight rhinos, boom boom boom, or you could play the methodical. I'm gonna Kiro of an IC game, right? Because that's also viable against France. Uh, Especially in uh, at and this I've map. Seen this. On this map, Kiro uh, is pretty good. You have to do mm -hmm. something before the AFC is up for Marco. Do you agree with this point? You have to yeah, do you definitely want to harass him. And he's getting something big here too. He's getting the paradrop. The free paradrop taken down for Marco is huge, right? That's true. He can't now expand from that big point. Neef is defending Marco on the live chat. He's oh. the best whistle player around. Hi. Look at Legend, look at Legend, look what he's doing. He's just camping. Yes. That's he has a he has an engineer on that flag going up to the top. It looks like he wants to steal one of uh, Marco's oils. He made two engineers. One of them's hiding behind his war factory. Marco sees it, puts it at the pillbox, but I think he might still get it if it's waypointed. 
Oh. Ooh. It's waypointed, but Marco still micros the, uh, the pillbox and targets the drone there. I think he saw that. Marco saw that and sniped the engineer by that pillbox. Oh. All right. Le uh, Marco setting himself in a good position here. He has the center control now. He has his refinery there, which is going to get those gems. He has a cannon there to defend that. And look at what he does here. Pretty nice. Uh, I'm not sure if the, I think the cannon might have targeted. If he didn't, then he targeted the floor and just kind of rotated the cannon this way so that it's facing. He can do something on that point, that place, the bottom right. Oh, here is the cannon. Huge cannon. Resilies are very good on RA2. They you know, with the backup of uh, the 100 dogs in front of your Grizzlies, that's definitely good. Uh, it's not looking good yeah. for Legend anymore. It looks like he wanted to go for... He, he's mixed. He, that's why I said you got to go for one or the other. It's pretty hard to do a little bit of both in these situations. It looks like he wanted the rush and now he's building a battle lab, you know? Either you go for one or the other in my opinion in here. Hey, it, um, I think so now, now you got cannons in your base. Legend got the oil at the top right. Yeah, that's gonna do him no good anymore. <laughs> so I think the game is over. Or about to be over. Oh, it's definitely going to be tough for Legend to come back from this. Marco, even a preemptive uh, Patriot missile, just in case a sneaky Kiro wants to come out, he's already set up for it. Do you think the IC can do something now? It it, it can, it can do something, but it won't it won't really change the tide of the game so much. He needs like at least two to three ICs before it actually does something. While Marco keeps making mistakes, because right now Marco's actually set up so well. He's he already ate all the gems in mid. He's getting extra gems from the top side mid. Uh, his whole side of the gems is all good. He has three cannons in the, around his base, and now a cannon in oh, Legend's in base. This is and this Legend is super base. hard for Legend to come back from. Uh, Icy is not going to help him here. After the Icy on might the help him take one oh, cannon. Oh. That's it. Legend's fault is not harassing from the start, didn't know why, he has to do something very quick. Yeah, he tried, I mean, he his tanks were up there, you know, he, but Marco ha had a good defense there, he, uh, he used his Grizzlies wisely, he baited Legend into the cannon basically, and uh, he took over from there, basically uh, set himself up for success here, he's out tanks Legend, 3 to 1 probably here. Has cannons all over Legend's base. Kirov's doing work. Uh, it does take out a little, of the, good, a little bit of the expansion there. Snipe Not the enough, cannon, though. Snipe the cannon. Snipe the cannon. It has a red <laughs> bar, but... <laughs> Legend, that's not your depot, bro. Hey, Perry. He stole Woody's teeth. <laughs> yeah. And uh, right now, we're, it's a best of 13, huh? And Marco's a... I mean, I shouldn't call it so early, but I mean, come on, let's get real, right? Marco's about to go 4-0 here. Oh, he keeps his choice as front. I want to see him as USA. Yeah, I mean, is that's, that's really crazy. Whatever he picks, he's OP. Yeah, he's OP. He's uh, on France. fourth point. Here we see France Legend. is pretty strong, man. Uh, you gotta you gotta deal with France and uh, France in itself to me is a mm, I don't want to say cheesy, right? Because you still have to. It's pretty hard to play as France, but it's kind of like Yuri, right? Yuri is built around cheesy likeness in a sense, but you have to be pretty good to utilize the cheese, utilize the units to make it, you know? And I, I feel like France is kind of the same thing. For the longest time in uh, Red Alert history, a lot of people would ban France. Actually, even just in CNC Net, we have a, a little button that says toggle Yuri and France. 
there's a reason why they toggle friends, right? Because in, nice. it's kind of OP in the sense. So when the only thing that doesn't make friends OP is, or what makes it its biggest weakness is getting injured early on. I agree with you. And like the OP uses and the also OP, the, this will be yeah, and also the power, the power and the injured. And guess what we did? Uh, we buffed power and we put multi ng You basically took away the two weaknesses that France has and you just buffed the fuck out of them, basically, you know? <laughs> I think Legend is in trouble now. Marco is four points ahead, so he has to do more. Whatever France, USA, Germany, he has to do something. Hey, Umaima. I don't know. Welcome. I'll tell you what. Chat. I'll tell you what Legend needs to do, man. Legend needs to concentrate. Zuki, welcome. You too. Uh, as you saw there, oh my. Uh, those cannons can do a lot more <laughs> than just look scary. They destroyed all of his arm, uh, Legend's army, they destroyed Legend's uh, base, they destroyed Legend's uh, fucking will to live, probably. <laughs> he probably wants to quit out of this here. No, I'm just kidding. Legend's not a quitter. He's going to bring it back right here, hi. I have a feeling. This is this is Legend's map, right? This is Legend's descent. A disaster if he loses at this map. Thank you very much, Larry, for the gift of sub. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining the live stream. Uh, so Legend saying that uh, it's the PP pee -pee buff as well. <laughs> Marco <laughs> saying that it's not. Uh, I can't confirm. I didn't look at the map. Uh, I'm not too sure. I know that in quick match, the uh, PP pee -pee is for sure. Ooh, that is true. And that's one of the reasons why they did the uh, power plant buff, right? So that the power plant is equivalent in build speed as the uh, Soviet one and sure enough usually the ally player is a little bit behind but as Mar as Legend points out <laughs> Marco apparently had his war factory down before Legend that's right look at that mix from Marco I love that mix Dub and Rookie and Grizzly those are difficult to handle Ooh, takes the MCV early on. Left with three war factories so here. Uh, Once again. Left with no base actually here. He's gonna he's gonna lose. He takes these power plants. His legend's done for. He can't sustain all these buildings with just one power plant. Oh my god. Scores the five points. Uh, yeah, and I say this, I said it memingly, you know, Legend needs to concentrate, but in our reality, I think Legend actually wasn't concentrating that game. He was too busy talking to Marco about the War Factory and didn't catch Marco actually uh, coming in at him because Legend was still making miners while Marco already had Grizzlies at his base, basically. I'm gonna unleash the Godzilla mood now. Oh, these these are ladder maps. I think these do have a power plant buff. Uh, I'm not sure if Berg's in the chat. Yeah, Berg's in the chat. Maybe he can confirm whether these have power plant buff or not. Uh, either way, this is what we're playing, and uh, this is what's in quick match. So if it's not, then goddamn, that feels bad for Legend. And if it is, then either way, it feels bad for Legend. True. I think... Marco is taking a break now. So, what do you think about Marco now as his allies? Since this is kind of the first time you've been watching his allies, he's, <laughs> he's a beast. This is my answer. He's a beast. Whatever he picks, he's insane. Is it either? This is going to be a quick series then. Uh, best yeah, of 13, I'm, uh, I'm 5 trying, already. I'm trying to arrange another one. I have the time. What are you looking at ahead of this? I didn't know who I have. I'm sure I wonder I'm what gonna, uh, uh, arrange another one after this one. Nice, nice. What What is Legend's next pick? What do you think? Mm, maybe Yin Yang. 
Yin Yang, huh? Oh, that that could be a good map for him. And as it's good for rushing from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, for sure. A look at Omaima. Legend Douchers are in are in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what happens to Legend when he faces Marco. I think he loses his concentration. So you always have to say concentrate to him. <laughs> we miss yeah, your sure. concentrate <laughs> <laughs> to him. Uh, and, uh, he, he's, he's focused. I don't want to get in his head right now. He needs to focus, though. He needs to bring in his A game right now if he needs to, if he wants to come back. Uh, because, okay, Marco teases Legend a lot. Marco is always uh, <laughs> making fun of Legend and stuff, right? So if he gooses Legend, oh my god, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's going to enhance the teasing. You don't want that. I don't think, I, I wouldn't want that if I was Legend. So Legend definitely needs to concentrate and step it up here. He needs to put one point at least on the board, right? Yeah, he has to. He has to. I agree with you on this point. He has to make at least one point. He has to score at least one point. It's not going to be good for Legend to lose on zero points. As Marco is choosing Allied. Dry Heat. <laughs> dry dry, dry heat. heat. Big meme coming up for Legend. That's right on my. <laughs> He's upset, I think, now. Oh, man. Good. We we don't want to see Legend Ito. angry, right? Oh, Marco wants to keep. Marco wants to keep, keep the goose. He sheet. wants to keep it. He wants mm. to keep the clean sheet. I think. Yep. <laughs> yep. I agree. Clean sheet is good for Marco. Yeah. So apparently the mm. the PP buff is on, and again that is a huge buff for France. Legend is. Asking Marco why you vetoed this map. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys are pretty good. Really nice. Ooh. Ooh. What do. Yeah. That, okay. You're looking for another match? Why don't we run this one back if they're both down? Uh, except they swap factions, right? Legend, Allies, Marco, Soviet. Legend's not bad as Allies, so definitely uh, could be a good match. I think I have to have someone else to play. Oh, okay. I'm looking to arrange something else. I like your suggestion, Ed, but I think it's better to have new people. For sure, for sure. Golden State Valley, uh, originally named when first released, fun fact, Golden State Josh. <laughs> this is a map created by Josh, uh, as you can tell. He's, he's not on the live chat. Josh. Mm -hmm. Hope sometime we're gonna have him on the commentary. Yeah, Josh is I, always cool uh, to listen to. I have heard that he's a good commentator. Not sure if this is true or not. Hopefully we can. Have him sometime. That'd be nice. Both of these players capturing their oil just about the same time. Let's look at the War Factory. Who's going to place it faster? We're going to look at their oils. Usually, uh, about the same time, more or less. Legend uh, looks like he was like a split second faster there. But basically the same time here, right? Uh, which is what the idea behind Powerpuff was. Uh, one of the ideas behind it. Just so that... It, when it and actually when it came down to like capturing oils, that's one of the reasons why, right? Because a lot of times the Soviet player was to in their oils way before the Allied player. Uh, but now with like auto caps and all that, I don't know. And I think the drone comes in. I think oh, the difference oh. is coming in the upcoming five minutes. You will see the huge difference. 
build orders and the units and everything. This is the mentality Let for each one of yeah. them. Legend bringing in the heat early on, gets a drone onto Marco's Grizzly, and then brings in two tanks and starts harassing uh, the power plant. Forces Marco to send one of his miners down to the bottom more patch. Uh, Legend following up with three tanks in the middle, still has the two tanks on the top side. Uh, this is pretty nice. Uh, that's another weakness for allies is the splits, right? Um, allies, allies strength in numbers, right? That's, that's what allies is, strength in numbers. Really so true. if you can split up those numbers, then they become a little bit weaker. So splitting against allies, really good here. Decision by Legend. Still has three tanks on top now. Regroup them. Um, bringing more tanks to the top side, actually. He wasn't working on splits on the previous matches. So I hope he will look at that point and do some splits. It does this Anub. This is what Marco says. <laughs> this is, he says this is basically silver so uh, Marco re uh, legend retreating all the way back I I don't like this I don't like that he took the the pedal or his foot off the pedal right uh, his aggression was working out there he was sniping off uh, Grizzlies he was I harassing the I agree with you. He, yeah, he didn't have to go back he didn't have to retreat yeah he kind of let Marco just kind of regroup himself and just kind of like concentrate and exactly. uh, focus exactly. on what he needed to do. Uh, and, but at first he had Marco on, on the ropes here. Legend still has the split. And some tanks on the top, some tanks on the bottom. Marco's second war factory, so he wants to keep up the production here. Marco is uh, America, so... This won't work. No cannons this game. No cannons this game. This won't work, so he gave him the time. Legend Three War Factors for Legend. Time. Legend still doing okay here. Uh, Legend, huge, huge tank battle on the top side for him. Uh, nice, actually nice. Legend, catches ahead, Marco there. Snipe the MCV. Snipe the MCV. Goes for the power plant first. Look at that. Couple Grizzlies trying to hold uh, these six Rhinos. He will be able to hold. Trust me. Those pill, yeah, those pill boxes uh, worked wonders there for Look Marco. He has to sacrifice them to snipe MCV. You know why he's retreating. Yeah, he didn't want to uh, sacrifice all the tanks. It's still harassing the Grizzlies. Marco has a lot of pill boxes around here, though. Uh, Legend, that, he's losing a lot of tanks here. I feel like this could have been a little bit easier for him in this push had he worked those tanks a little bit better, microed those tanks a little bit better, but. Uh, Marco uh, really baiting them into those pillboxes. Kudos to Marco there, right? Keep a lot busy. of reinforcements coming for Legend. Legend has to keep him busy as much as he can. And Legend now he does micro and he does target these Grizzlies all down. Uh, nice, nice. Still, still Marco's hanging in there though. He brings them down to three tanks versus two, uh, and he had them outnumbered by quite a lot, actually. Uh, Legend still has a lot of units, though, at base. But the key thing here for Marco is that he was able to hold, right? Uh, and he did. Uh, Legend hasn't taken anything too game-changing. Marco does sell the MCV now, officially. Pushes Legend back. Uh, look at Legend, man. He's moving his MCV all the way to the bottom left now. He's sitting in a very comfortable position. Uh, macro game is on point. He's on three war factories. He has his refinery on the right side, mining pretty nice. His uh, ore patch in the center, though, is done. He has three miners there, so they're going to start getting nothing but dirt. Uh, he does have an MCV on the bottom, though, so that's going to help him. Hope he needs he to get those miners the out there. One on the board. I hope he scores the first one. Hit. Uh, let's see what he can do. Marco has a lot of GIs here. Do you think Ed, from this point, he's able to come back? Uh, this is Legend's game to throw, right? He set up pretty nice here. He has the numbers and tanks. I don't know why he Marco sold his MCV now. I don't know why. 
Uh, he, I think he wants to keep up the income right now. He Look at him. He's about to hit zero. He did have to transfer those miners all the way from the right side to the left side. Uh, especially right now that Marco's ma making his biggest attack. Look at he wants the funds. He's going for the... Flak's not going to be that important right now. There's only one Rocketeer in the field. That one Rocketeer is not going to do much anyways. Even if he targets that flag down. Uh, Marco, on the other hand, his ore fields are done. And he does not have an expansion, so... He's long distance mining on the top side. He's on three war factories. Living is on three war factories. Do you think those are enough? Nah, not anymore, man. I think this is over. I think Legend ends up taking this game here. Finally, Legend scores the first one on the board. Nice, nice. So <laughs> now Legend can say, all right, if I lose, <laughs> at least I got one game in the board, right? <laughs> I can feel legend now. And that was a GG. Lake Blitzen. Lake. Yeah, that was a pretty good game right there. That was an excellent hold by Marco. Honestly, I think he should have died a lot earlier. So kudos to him for hanging on for so long. Uh, legend didn't didn't uh, falter though. He kept his pressure. He kept the split. His split on the bottom really didn't do much in theory, right? Uh, it was just there. But the fact that it was just there. The pressure in its own, just by having those tanks there, was huge for him because he was just able to do whatever he wanted on the top side. And Marco had to have this little group of tanks on the bottom, just splitting Marco's tanks. I think it was a good game for both of them, Ed. For sure. Hey, you know what I I would do right here if I was Legend? I would what? veto this map. He has to. He has to. He's. This is a really good strong map for Marco. To bless. But you know what? Bottom right, Ed. Focus with me for one moment, please. Oh, yeah, I'm. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. doing three and no. I think one, I'm wrong. Yeah, three I'm and wrong. one. Three and one. That's right. One A and three B. That's good. We have to go now for the seventh match. I think. Yeah, I think Legend's kind of, uh, speaking about the vetoes, I think he's kind of weighing out his options right here, right? Because if he vetoes this, I think he feels he has a stronger chance in winning on this map than he does on, like, because if he vetoes this, there's Death Charge, Death Charge, and then he has Alaskan Oil still to worry about. So I think he wants to save those vetoes for those maps, uh, especially Alaskan Oil Spill. I don't even think Alaskan Oil Spill should be included in this map, I mean in this, uh, series, right? Because it's an AVS series, you can't win as Soviets on Alaskan oil spill. Come on, let's get real, you know what I mean? That's right, yes, I know. I think uh, Marco has more choice than Legend for the upcoming matches. He has more maps like the Charge, Stormy Wither, and more maps for Marco. I think the naval maps are copyrighted for Marco. He's very good. Uh, okay, so definitely, okay. It, if I were to say, is it completely unwinnable for Legends? Or, um, I'm talking to the chat here real quick. I, it's not completely unwinnable, right? But it's like a 90% chance that allied players are gonna win on Alaskan oil spill. Ala uh, allied players, specialized or their strongest things is uh, Navy. Uh, Soviets have good Navy too, but it's not as strong as uh, Allied Navy, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, the Allied Navy is OP. I agree in this. You can say that is a very nice pick from Marco to choose this map at this point. That was smart. From him. Legend on three miners. Marco on three as well. Yeah, Legend has to be careful here. His MCV is on the top gem side, and uh, Marco has those two oils captured on his side of the island, right? On technically Legend side of the island, if you want to say it, since that the MCV is on the top side there. So if Marco puts a uh, naval yard up there, puts a Harrier, uh, Legend's going to have to be for forced to put another naval yard. So he's going to have to build uh, some defense 
on that top side. He's bringing in a amphibious. Is he gonna try to take those oils? Marco has no pillboxes there. He probably will take these oils. That's gonna be big for him here. Ooh, kills it. Nice, nice, nice. Just in time. Was able to kill it just in time. And one aircraft carrier comes out oh, for Marco. The carrier is attacking the all points. Algerics. Yeah, one of many, right? Look at that uh, bird Mark drop behind Legion Space. Oh, that battle lab, that's a good call right there. Very nice one. Oof. Very nice one from Marco. Great battle lab. We did miss Legend capturing uh, Marco's oil on the far right side. It looks no, like no, Marco's he... trying to recap it here. Oh, Legend going in for another. Oh, he goes for the Ivan instead this time. He Ivans one of the oils. I feel like he should have. Oh, well, I guess the Ivan's a good choice too, right? We talk about the the money that you Legend. bring in with the oil. Look at the right mid. Mid. Uh huh. He's trying to engage. Legend is trying to engage. I don't know why he moved and go back. I don't know, but Marco recaptures his oil here, and now he does. He took it back. Maybe see the hero. These subs are getting cleaned up by a bunch of dolphins here. So when you ask why is uh, Allied or Soviet not strong on naval maps, this is why, man. These dolphins, dolphins can be OP. OP. If you make a if you make a squid as a Soviet player to try to get this uh, aircraft carrier. You can just auto-target your aircraft carrier one time with one of those dolphins and it'll knock the squid off and then you just kill the squid and your carrier right. stays alive. That's right. The dolphins are really OP. Yeah, strength in numbers. You need a lot of dolphins. Dolphins are 600 bucks, I believe. They're a lot cheaper than submarines. Submarines are 1,000 each here, so... 1, Unfortunately, we can't see how many uh, dolphins he has on there, but it looks like there's a lot of little sonic uh, waves or whatever they're called Lots there. Of dolphins made by Marco. Yeah, he's cleaning up all those uh, subs. The upper hand on the naval side. Legend is trying to engage once again. And this time is tough. Look at all these para drops oh, for Marco. <laughs> bear tanks, more bear tanks. Uh, Mar uh, Legend has IC, forced okay. to use his IC a little further back there. He has to snipe the battle lab, I think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Goes for the lab. That's go about back, it. Back, not sure back. that's worth. That was not worthy. The sacrifice all oh. your army take a single battle lab okay so what you guys just saw on this map with the naval now just imagine and keep in mind legend has tanks he can work with right alaskan oil spill there's you can't work with tanks that much you know it's all like basically naval battles and air battles uh guess who's gonna win on those <laughs> battles theoretically allies should have a better chance right 90 90 percent chance i have no idea how bubble lost against uh uh, legend on Alaskan oil spill as allies versus legend Soviet to be honest. He must have thrown really really hard. I don't know why legend is going forward and go back. Here we see Marco on the match point Ed. Legend has to do something. Oh it was death charge on my says. Okay. Death charge uh, I think the statistics go a little bit closer. I would say probably, let's say, a 75% uh, chance for Allied players to beat a Soviet player on Death Charge. We saw a previous game, Marco versus Latov, which shows the strength of Allied, right? Latov literally took, I think he took all the oils in the center, every single oil, and he still lost to Marco. Marco stayed on his islands. He stayed on, I think he was on spot four. Uh, took all his ore there, went to spot three, took all the ore there, and left and killed everything from Latov, despite Latov having map control and everything. 
true. I want to ask Latov from here if he wants to play any one of these guys. If he's down, I'm going to sponsor after this one. I'm going to start the last one of this series. So yeah, oh, this, oh, is, oh, this legend. is strange. Again, I Le can't hold the yeah, line. Legend picked this map, man. <laughs> Why? Hope hold the line. Hopefully. Oh, oh, oh wait. Uh, oh, I think did I you read. still have spots one and three? Uh, oh, oh, I think we have to read. Yeah. I think I have to read. It was my bad. Mm, one and three, I think. I will cancel two and four. This will be better for the spots. Ed, if you can ask Latov if he wants to play any one of them. I'm down to sponsor and stream. Oh, I think Latov is in the chat, so he heard it here. Uh, maybe he can reply in the chat if he's willing. Thank you, Gamer, for the follow. Hope you enjoy the series. So if you're a legend here, what do you think you need to do here to beat an allied player? What, do, what, do, what is your thoughts? I think he has to capture these oils so fast and build more naval units. So naval this control is the basically way he is can what Take the win. This from my opinion. You know what you think, it. Oh yeah, well I mean, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Definitely uh, taking the oils, having a better eco, and then naval control for sure. Uh, so here comes Allied. Uh, it's really hard for Soviet players to take their oils here in the center because of this, right? Uh, let's see if uh, he can though. Oh, he targets the engineers and... Oh, en engineers! Oh, for a second there, he almost missed it. Puts a cannon down, <laughs> he has no power. He has the naval yard, I don't think he realized that he would be low power as he puts the cannon down immediately. Makes a flag, pretty nice. Takes out a lot of rocketeers there actually. Pretty nice trade there for him. Ends up taking two oils, gonna take the third one right now. Has a barracks there, so. Like a legend, he's Man, producing miners. Le I didn't yeah, know legend almost like uh, threw those dingies away. He, he <laughs> moved them around for a little bit. I didn't know if Legend is doing naval units now. I don't know, Marco bringing in the chopper with his engineers. Going to capture his side of the island there. Mustn't fall on the same mistake. With the dolphin elimination from Marco, he has to do more submarines. So Marcos is gonna take his little island oil on the left side. Hey, the and hell. Legend, Legend hasn't taken it though. He, I think he needs to take that oil over there too. He needs it. He's going to need it. That's for sure. Go ahead. Thank you very much for the follow. Oh my, that is not true. Once again, Latop controlled six oils. Five, five oils, I think it was actually, but could have been six Look at in Legend. mid. And still lost against Marco. Oh, nice move by Legend. Look at that hit on yeah. Marco's face. Was able Sneaky to little rhinos. Some rhino Can hands. they do the damage though? He has the Rocketeers. Nice, put nice to work. Go ahead, Legend. Whoop. Oh. Ooh. 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 Does not even take the lap uh. there. 
Ah, look at Legend. Legend's on it, though. Look at him. He has everything he needed. He put it, He pushed in with some Rhinos, got the, uh, Marco distracted, has a Dread incoming, has two Kiros incoming as well. Uh, but Marco's ready for it all. He has Dolphins ready for the Dread. Dread's going to die out there. He has a Patriot Missile ready for the uh, Kiro. Two Patriot Missiles for the Kiro. The Kiro might actually take these right out, though. Mid. Mid. Look at Vesper Kipster. Right mid. I think it has single engineer to capture that uh, oil derrick if he puts one down over there he could potentially put a sneaky naval yard in the back and have a dread ready just build a dread immediately off that naval yard and could snipe a couple buildings probably before he gets taken down able to capture that oil derrick it as i told you to us having the engineer single engineer by the That's way nice. Europe's are pretty good on this map for sure, we just saw him take out one of the oils. Alright, there's a lot of dolphins in the field now. Marco has Chronosphere ready here in a second. What is his target? Okay, we see Larry asking a question. Can you bet your engines in flat? Then both left in overcross to counter as a light defending Jerry with rookies. What do you think it? What is it? Look at uh, the live chat. Larry is asking can you bet your engines in flat? Then both left in overcraft to counter as a light defending Derek with, with rookies. Uh nah because you don't have your war factory ready yet. The first thing you build uh, here is your naval yard. Uh, the war factory is not going to be ready up until the time you probably already arrive at mid with your amphibious. Oh, GG's has been called from Legend. By that time, it's probably too late.